Sunlight provides energy to fuel the growth of green plants on land. If you look carefully, you'll see changes in the color of the ocean that follow the seasons as well. Phytoplankton or algae in the ocean also use energy from the sun for photosynthesis. But is all life on Earth supported by sunlight? Can anything live in the dark, deep ocean where there isn't any sunlight? To explore these depths, scientists use deep diving submersibles, such as Alvin, shown here. Alvin can carry a pilot and two scientists to the deep sea floor. In 1977, scientists made a stunning discovery that changed our understanding of life on Earth. Arriving at the seafloor at a depth of 2,500 meters or a mile and a half, the scientists expected to see very little life, but they were surprised. Listen to the original audio from inside Alvin. Oh, I can see shimmering water. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What is that? Yeah, there's water. I think there's shimmering water right over here to the left, coming out right off the top. They had discovered hot springs, or hydrothermal vents, with animals that had never been seen before. These discoveries continue today. This video is from the most recent discovery nearby, on the Galapagos Rift. Remember, there is no sunlight down there. How do these tube worms get their food? They extend their red plumes into vent fluids to uptake chemical energy for bacteria living inside their bodies. These bacteria use chemical energy instead of sunlight for chemosynthesis. The first discovery of deep sea vents was in the Eastern Pacific. In the past few decades, over 200 vents have been discovered with human-occupied, remotely operated, and autonomous vehicles. Hydrothermal vents are found in all ocean basins, but not just anywhere. Hydrothermal vents form in places where there is volcanic activity, such as along Earth's plate boundaries. They occur when seawater seeps down and is heated deep beneath the seafloor. The hot fluid rises and gushes out of vents at about 350 degrees Celsius, more than 600 degrees Fahrenheit, carrying with it chemical energy. Let's explore a vent on the Mid-Cayman Rise, a plate boundary in the Caribbean Sea. We'll dive to 2,300 meters, about a mile and a half, to a recently discovered site, where shrimp cluster in shimmering vent fluids. Why? They are all trying to get in the best position to provide chemical energy to bacteria that live on their bodies. These bacteria make their food by chemosynthesis. Here, the temperature probe measures 60 degrees Celsius, 140 degrees Fahrenheit. Hot, but not too hot for the shrimp. The shimmering shows where hot vent fluids are mixing with cool seawater. Vents in different regions of the ocean have different animals, just like different regions on land. Let's explore vents in the Western Pacific on the Mariana Back Arc plate boundary. These vents are in the Marianas Trench Marine National Monument. At 3,000 meters, almost two miles down, one of the vents is named Snail for the many snails that live there. Like the tube worms and shrimp shown earlier, these snails also get their food from bacteria that are using chemical energy from vent fluids for chemosynthesis. Nearby is a high temperature vent, a black smoker. The animals that you see are supported by a food web based on invisible microbes, single-celled organisms using the chemical energy spewing from the vent, linking the deep earth to this ocean ecosystem. Where will we find more deep sea vents and discover new life? Most of Earth's plate boundaries remain to be explored for deep sea vents, and a thousand more may be discovered. This is the frontier for our next generation.